By the end of this video, you will have a Nextdoor business page up and running, as well as a few tips to help you promote your business. Welcome to Contractor Cast. I'm Wayne from Leeds Nearby. If this is your first time here, we create videos just like this, where we help home service contractors get the most out of their website and leverage digital marketing. If it's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified every time we release a new video. So this discussion comes up quite often. I hear clients talking about they don't do Nextdoor or they don't do Facebook or they don't do Instagram. Well, the bottom line is that your customers do. So you should always try to find out where a large number of your customers are. And if they're on Instagram or if they're on Facebook or in this particular case on Nextdoor, you should be there as well. And we get it. There are a lot of different platforms to get familiarized with. So we're going to go through some steps here and give you some tips about how to set up your Nextdoor business page, as well as how to go about promoting your page. So Nextdoor is a social platform that is designed for specific neighborhoods as well as surrounding neighborhoods. And it allows your neighbors basically to talk with one another and to post things uh, on a neighborhood bulletin board where they can get feedback or they can get referrals from their neighbors that they don't necessarily talk to in person, but they'll post things on, on Nextdoor. So if they're looking for someone to paint their house, they'll go on Nextdoor and ask for a referral. And hey, does anyone know of a painter that we could use? So referrals are no secret that they are super important, especially to a home service contractor. So if you're not on Nextdoor, you're potentially missing out to be in the conversation when it comes to your neighbors or neighborhoods referring someone. So let's jump in and let's show you how you go about creating your business page as well as some tips about how to go about promoting yourself on the platform. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to, let's go to nextdoor.com. And as you see here, uh, you, get, you have the ability, if you were already logged in, to, to put in your street address and to do a search for your neighborhood, all right? And to see the conversations that are taking place in and around your neighborhood. As a business owner, uh, especially a, a, a service contractor, where you are in multiple neighborhoods around your location, this is a great place to be. So if we don't already have an account, we'd have to go about creating one. So we'll click on sign up and you've got to start off with your home address first. And the next it's going to ask you for your email address. And a password. And then your name. And a phone number. And then you're gonna get a four digit code via text. And now you've got to agree to the be a good neighbor, right? So it, always keep in mind, again, that this is a social platform. So people are really going on here to get exactly what, you know, I first talked about. This is where I'm looking to get recommendations. So when you go on here, imagine how someone in your neighborhood, your neighbor, would be using this particular site, right? So the first thing that comes up is the ability for me to create a post. I could, at this point, choose to post directly to my immediate neighborhood or to my neighborhood as well as the surrounding, it says here 25 other neighborhoods that are immediately around my area. Uh, and then I could write, as it says here in the example, I could say hi, I could just, you know, thanks for having me, whatever the case may be, and I could post that. Once I opt not to send this post, I, I'm presented with my basic, uh, with my timeline at this point. And I can stay on the main screen here or I can go directly into my neighborhood. And as you see immediately, even here, um, there's already a, a sponsored ad uh, on, this, on this main timeline here, right? So you as a HVAC or as a plumber or as an electrician could, could have your ad here. Um, and again, I'll show you here, I'm gonna go directly into my neighborhood and just looking to see what type of conversations are going on here. Uh, but people are posting all kinds of stuff. Oh, look, someone's looking for a babysitter. Someone's looking for a home decor seamstress. All right, so these are the conversations that go on 
on Nextdoor. And this is why you would want to be here because this is where people go. Now, again, this is going to vary from you know region to region. Uh, some cities are going to be more some cities are going to be more active than others on Nextdoor. So you really have to just kind of see how it applies to to where you specifically are. But generally speaking, again, from the, from the clients that we have and f- just from my own personal experience and, and the people who I know, a lot of people use Nextdoor specifically for these types of activities, right? They're not going here to post pictures of their, of their grandkids or their kids. They're really going here to get neighborhood related information, information related to schools, information related to activities for them to do, information related to real estate that they're looking for, you know, information about a neighborhood that they may be wanting to move into. And then when they're in these neighborhoods, they want information about someone to come out and do painting for them, someone to come out and fix electrical related issues, someone to, you know, repair HVAC uh, things. So the part that's going to be interesting or important to you as a business owner is the businesses section. So if we go into the business section here, this is where a neighbor or you know, a user of this platform can go in here and look for restaurants, dentists, veterinarians. They can explore even more businesses beyond that. You know, roofing. Let's type in HVAC. All right, so I get a listing of I get a listing of, of businesses in, in and around my area. I get the typical sponsored results, which come from Angie's list as well as Home Advisor here at the top. And here toward the bottom, you see the conversations that are taking place. And these are the conversations in and around my neighborhood. So again, people looking for a recommendation for HVAC and talking about either their experience or you know things that went great, things that didn't go so great. All right, so if we go back to the main businesses section. If you don't already have a business page, here's where you can go in and claim your listing toward the bottom there. Claim your listing. And when you claim your listing, you have, you're have you presented here with an option for neighbor for hire or professional business. In this particular case, you're going to be a professional business. And you can use the email address that you signed up with to manage your account, your business account, or you can use a different email address if that's what you need to do. I'm going to keep the address that I used. Okay, so the next page is going to ask you for your business name as well as your address. Now, if you have an existing business, uh, it may already have your information in Nextdoor. So one of the things it wants to do here is it wants to search to see whether or not it already has your business listing in their database. So I'm just going to make something up here because I don't actually have a HVAC company. Uh, Let's see here. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm just going to pick an address. That's near me. Now it's going to check a database to see if my business actually already exists in their database. And if I did see my business here on their list, I could just click it and I could claim my listing. Um, Lots of businesses listed here that haven't been claimed. These are all unclaimed perhaps. At the very bottom of the page, you'll see that I can create a new business page with this name. So I chose HVAC Pros was the name of my business. I'm gonna, in this case, click create a new business. I'm gonna keep the same address. I could add a phone number here. You should then add your website. And continue. You'll then need to choose your business category. So if you're an HVAC company, let's see if that comes up. We're gonna go heating heating and cooling service. We're gonna choose that. You could potentially add more categories if you need it to, but we're gonna leave it with just this one. And we're gonna click on create new business page. So there is a verification process here um, that I'm not going to go through. Basically, it's going to send you an email. You'll need to go through that verification process. Um, And if it needs any additional information from you, uh, they will let you know. But that's the gist of setting up a business page on Nextdoor. 
now where I'm actually on my business page. And you'll see here the name of the business, HVAC Pros. So one of the cool things that you can do as a business on Nextdoor, and they make it pretty straightforward for you, is you can, as it says right here, you can set up local deals, um, you can create offers. So one of the things you can do here is hit content and click create a post and you can offer a deal, a percentage off deal, a fixed discount deal. You can do a buy one, get one, uh, or you can do a custom deal. So we're going to do a fixed discount, right? We're going to AC tune up. And let's say we were offering an AC tune up discount. Let's say the discount price is going to be, we'll do it for 75. Let's say normally the price was 100 just to keep things simple. On the next page here, you're going to have to write a description about exactly what your offer is. So I'm going to type in, say $25 off on your first AC tune up. This offer cannot be combined with any other offers. Let's start with that. Okay. Next thing you select is going to be the duration. So I can run this offer for 30 days, 14 days, seven days, or I can select a custom date range. I can make the deal an in-person deal or an online deal. If I choose online, I can put a link directly to my website uh, where someone can claim an offer directly on the site itself. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't have a website. You're then going to be presented with a, a button choice. So on the ad itself, what action do you want the customer to take when they read your offer? Do you want them to message you? Do you want them to call you, email you, or get directions? The most applicable one for our purpose is going to be call business. So we're going to leave it on call business. And that's the number that it would prompt them to call. You can add a redemption code if, if you need it to. You could add terms and conditions if you need it to. Uh, then we're going to hit next. Here's where you could upload a photo. We're going to just select one of these random photos. So if you, if you have your own uh, image for your ad, you could put it in. But since we don't really have one at this point, we're going to just select one of these images here that it gives you. We're going to hit next. And then there's your deal. View local deal. So here's how our deal. So this is a preview of how the deal would show up on someone's timeline with the details. Here's the call button that we that we selected. Um, but again, th this image here again is just a stock image that we chose. You could put in an image of your business, of your technicians, of whatever you wanted to put in. Um, I'm going to go back here to where we were trying to complete this process. And we're going to hit next. Okay. And here's where I'm going to be able to choose, you know, the radius. And you can adjust this area, right? I can make it a one mile radius. I can make it a two mile. I can, what does it go up to? It goes up to almost 10 miles, 10 mile radius, right? Which it includes here. It says uh, 530 neighborhoods and approximately 114,000 people in that particular area. Uh, or you can just keep it super specific. You can just say, hey, I want to go a mile, roughly. Uh, that for us here is six neighborhoods, 1,930 people. Uh, and it basically gives me a breakdown of the individual neighborhood. So I could go in and say, well, Arcadia Ridge, that's not really where I want to be. Uh, I'd rather be in Arcadia West. And I can turn off, you know, the neighborhoods that I don't want to partake in. Don't If, if, if they're not my ideal customer, I don't have to advertise in that particular neighborhood. Once we've selected our range and our neighborhoods, we hit next. And obviously it, this is where it's going to collect your credit card information and take your payment. But again, $9 to reach, you know, six neighborhoods and roughly 1900 people, not a bad deal. And again, because this is a, a platform where people are going and looking for home service related contractors and having these types of conversations, it's a great place to be. So I'm not going to submit an order. I'm not going to put in a credit card. I'm just going to cancel out of here. Let's go back to just the main homepage if we can. So just like Facebook or Google My Business, Nextdoor is the same thing. You want to go into your profile page and fill out everything that it asks for. Add as many images as you can. Add your phone number, add your hours, add, sometimes it even allows you to add stories. 
blog post type content, as much information as it allows you to put in there, put it in there. Because when the customers come across your information on the platform and they go to your business page, but it's only halfway filled out, the less information you give them, the less they have to really go on. So you want to try to give a potential customer as much information as possible so they can make the best informed decision that they can. On your business page, you've also got an inbox so people could potentially contact you through here. On your reputation page here, again, it just kind of gives you a quick overview of your, of your profile, allows you to go in here and tell a story, create a deal, um, and it gives you a couple analytics, basically how many neighborhoods you've been showing up in, how many neighbors can search for you. One of the ways that you can increase your organic reach is by getting recommendations. So when you're in front of those customers in these neighborhoods, ask them to go on next door and leave you a review there as well. I, it's definitely another step. You know, you're, you're asking for reviews all over the place, trying to get Google My Business reviews. But again, like I mentioned, next door, because of the fact that because the fact that people are going to this platform looking for service contractors, a lot of the time, it would it would benefit you greatly to have people going out here or going on here rather and recommending you so that when, so that it increases your organic reach on the platform itself. So if you're looking for more suggestions on how to promote your home services business, be sure to reach out to us. We'd be glad to help you. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them as well. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.